Hey guys, it's Lane and Blake with Redefine Horizons, and in this video, I'm going to give you a quick tour of Pipedrive. And Pipedrive is the uh, client relationship manager CRM that we use here at Redefine Horizons. And so I uh, wanted to put together a little video for Vanessa, our client relationship manager here at Redefine Horizons, so she can uh, see how to use this. So we're going to do a really simple task today. We're going to add a organization and a contact, and then uh, we're going to add some activities for that contact. And uh, this is going to be fictitious, <laughs> so this is a, this isn't a real person or company. But I wanted to I wanted to show Vanessa how to do this. So okay, so we've got Pipe Drive up here on the screen, and uh, this is the the home page that you're going to get. This is your your basic pipe here, and you can edit the phases in these pipes. This, we're not going to worry about that today. So what we're going to do today is we're going to come under uh, contacts. And before I add a person, I like to add their organization, so we're going to do that. You can see we have a few here. Uh, we're going to add a new one. And uh, this is, again, this is uh, fictitious. Alright, sorry about that, guys. So what we're going to do here is we're going to add a new... <clears throat> we're going to add a new, new organization. So... The name of the organization is going to be Little John's Creek Real Estate Investments. That's the name of the company. Okay, and then you can assign labels here. So I I have some different labels. Uh, we're going to say this is a warm lead. So somebody we've talked to, had maybe had a couple conversations or touches with, but they're not a client yet. I'm going to go ahead and own this one, and the address we'll go ahead and put in. Okay. And then we're going to save that. So that's pretty simple. Now you can see they're showing up here. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to add a contact. Okay, so we're going to go over here. We're going to add a person. Okay, and this is going to be Maria Hernandez. Okay, and uh, again, we've got some labels there. Okay, so we're going to stay. We're going to actually going to create a, a new label here because I don't have uh, the one that I want. So, for now I'm going to put none. We'll, we'll come back in. we got to add that label. Okay, we're going to put her phone number in here. Okay, and her email. Okay, and then right here, this is why we put the organization in first, because we want to make sure that we add it so you just start typing it in and it'll come up there and that's us okay so now we have this new contact let's go ahead and uh, let's add our labels I gotta remember how to do that here let's see it might be under settings let's go look is it custom fields no nope. uh, it might be in here Let me pause this and I'll figure out. All right, sorry guys. So if you're on the contacts page and you come down here to label, there's this little edit button and then you can add a label. So we're gonna say, I'm gonna call this person a real estate manager. Okay, we'll save that and then we can grab that label. Okay, so now she's got that label. Okay, so this kind of functions as a global address book for all of your business development needs, but that's not where the real power of this comes in. So <clears throat> once you have a person in an organization added, you can then track track excuse me, track activities based on company and organization, okay, which is really important. And uh, activities are what I call touches or engagements. <clears throat> so we're gonna go ahead and open up the activities here. You can see I don't have any, so let's go back to people. Let's open up Maria and then so you can add some notes here. And you can also add some activity, files, emails. Okay, so we're gonna just go ahead and add some notes. Okay, so we're gonna say met Maria at a yeah, let's say at the February fifth, twenty twenty, Stockton Chamber Commerce meeting. Maria has been working with 
LJC real estate investments for the past four years. Maria has been in her current position for the last 18 months. Maria lives in North Stockton with her husband and two young boys. Maria got, oops, can't spell obviously, can't spell Maria. Maria got her associate's degree in business from San Joaquin Delta College. Okay, so we just added some um, information, just some general notes about Maria that we were able to uh, glean from her. Okay, so uh, then we can say, so we're going to add an activity. Okay, and we're going to say, uh, now activities are things that you plan to do in the future. So we're going to say, uh, I want to show you how to log it an activity that's already been completed and then we'll, we'll schedule future activities. So we're going to say um, that we've already uh, done this, we've already made a call. So we're going to say uh, on Friday, January 31st, we made a call with Maria at 10 a.m. 10 a.m. to 10.05, okay. And let's see. All right, so let's see if we can go in. We're going to mark, once you've added it, you can mark it as done, okay? So we're going to just add a note. We're going to say followed up on introduction at the Stockton Chamber of Commerce. Meeting. Maria said she would be out of town first week of February, but that we should call her the following week about a short lunch meeting, discuss upcoming projects in the Stockton area. Okay. So, once you've logged that and marked it as done, now you can see that history. And so this will stack in chronological order and you'll be able to go in here and see every conversation or touch that we've had with Maria. Okay, now we wanna, we're gonna go ahead and, uh, this is not a call, so let's change this. This was a uh, introduction at me say at event okay so we're gonna mark this as done now so you can see that initial introduction is here the calls here those are under done so we want to go ahead and plan this so we want to say all right hey um, Maria is on vacation this week but she says she'd be back we're gonna give her some time to get settled into her desk on the 11th so we're gonna say on the 12th we need to call Maria so uh, we're going to say uh, call call Maria to follow up on the quest for a lunch meeting to discuss upcoming projects in Stockton. Okay, now this is planned. We haven't done it yet, so it's coming up on the 12th. Okay, and the nice thing is now when you come into the activities board, you can you can see, hey, Maria needs a call, and that's been assigned to me. So this will give you a stack of all the BD work that you need to do. So that's really handy. Okay, so let me show you one other thing now. I had a couple other things. So we should also be able to see that if we go into organizations. Okay, so you can see everything that's happening with any contact in that organization is going to stack here okay which is great so because you might be working with more than one person at an organization okay so and you can see Marie is listed right here 
So uh, here we go. Let's see. All right, let me pause this. I want to do one other thing real quick. So my dogs are barking in the background. Sorry. Pinky, be quiet. All right, so we want to, the last thing we want to do here is I always try and upload a photo because it makes it uh, way easier for people to remember. So let's go ahead, we'll upload Maria's photo. You don't always have a photo, but a lot of times you can find a photo of somebody on the internet. Or if it's a good client, a friend, you can just ask them and they'll let you snap a quick, snap a quick photo. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and upload this photo of Maria. Okay, so now we've got her photos coming up. So when we click on Maria, we can uh, we can get a picture of her, so that helps a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna do some more on pipe drive. I'm still learning pipe drive myself, but uh, I wanted to give you guys a quick overview of what this looks like. Um, so that uh, shows you how to add uh, contacts and a log activities, both uh, past activities, which you can see here. Again, when we log on, when we uh, click on Maria's profile, we can see the things we've already done. Shows you your plan here, and then here this, this activity screen aggregates all the upcoming uh, business development or marketing activities that you need to do. Okay, and you can sort that by time period too, which is pretty cool. All right, guys, that's about a little over 10 minutes, so uh, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll do some more training on Pipe Drive. Appreciate it.